Hi, my name is Bert Borland and this is Bert's Screencast for the day. And today we're gonna have part two of my uh, series, The Natural User Interface, the presentation I did for a bank a couple of months ago. Um, I'll dump the link in the show notes about uh, the first part we did. And now let's jump into the second part. Here we go. So the tool I didn't read, um, I'm not gonna read out loud. The, I don't like to have text in the first place on my slides. And second, I don't like to people read the text, but if you pick up some words, natural user interface, it's invisible and you don't have to learn it, right? Where an, uh, most computer interfaces, that's the text I'm, I'm gonna spell out, um, have some kind of device that has to be learned. For example, a mouse. Oh, that's a famous, uh, uh, place where the uh, Prime Minister in the Netherlands in the 80s, I think, actually the 90s even, Kim Koch, didn't know how to move the mouse and, and how it was interacting on the computer while everybody and his mother and his father were using the mouse at that time. So I come from the northern part of the Netherlands where we speak in double negatives or at least in negatives. So a natural user interface is not an unnatural user interface. I know that's a, a, bad, um, a bad definition, but I like that definition. Um, and let's define a user interface. A user interface is a space where we interact with the computers. For example, I'm pressing the key, the key now, that's an interface. Um, there are different spaces, of course. A, a keyboard on the one end uh, is something you have to learn, and a, a touchpad, or at least the easy part of the touchpad, is something that's, that comes natural to you. Two fingers, gestures, etc. Uh, that's something you have to learn, but the fact that you touch something that it interacts, that's pretty basic. And the other part is its interaction, right? Uh, it is about how we interact with computers and computers interact with us, machines. So back in the days in 1989 when I started um, on the internet um, and in 95 where I made my first money uh, being a BGP uh, uh, configuring routers for, for BGP4, which is an uh, internet protocol, a routing protocol. Every data center had VT100, it's a VT420 I see now, but um, it's basically something like that, a green screen or an amber screen that's, that could be taken around and used as a console to uh, hook up to the uh, Unix servers. A very complex interface, ugly. At that time I was using, I think, iRix, at least I have been using an Amiga and an Apple II uh, with uh, 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 one one mouse button, but a mouse, what, what is a graphical user interface, right? And then the first moment I saw this, it was Steve's uh, finest moment of the of his career, probably. Um, I think the day it came out in America, my friend, a good friend of mine, uh, went there and took one with me. And it wasn't running iOS because routers, back then the Cisco routers were having an iOS uh, system. It was like something else called, uh, but it was version 09, I remember that first uh, version I got was uh, iOS 0.9. It's, it's an um, example of a natural user interface because what you saw was command line interface, a graphical user interface and a natural user interface and the growth how, how, to, how we got from one to another, right? VT100, an Amiga or an Apple II, uh, a Windows 3.11 maybe, and a natural user interface, uh, your hands and a key and a, and a class. Command line interface, Define the static, disconnected, and something you have to learn. LS minus AL to interact and, and, and get a, a directory, right? Uh, a graphical user interface, it's responsive, it interacts with you, it's indirect, and you recognize it. Oh, a save icon is a diskette, or uh, if I move this pointer, it, uh, it, uh, the mouse moves, or the other way around, actually. And a natural user interface is it's something that is, it's direct, it's intuitive. So let's VT100, a safe icon. I don't think my kids ever saw a diskette, but I know that this is a safe icon. I, I think that will be some time before that's, uh, that will be uh, something else. And a natural user interface where you can do with your fingers the oldest computer game there is, or at least the legend goes, Pong. Now, up front you see a, a punch, punch card, punch card, punch card, right? This is um, how we used to program. Um, I didn't do it, but just 10 years before I started, people were still programming this way. You see it here, it is Fortran, a language, computer language. Um, people actually programmed this way. People um, 
punched cards and uh, that combination of those holes made commands and the commands were entered in a computer that read it and that was the interface. Now we'll discuss why this interface is 80 times 20 in the next episode. I'll be seeing you then and uh, take care.